came back with a new attitude. Mm -hmm. I came back with strength. I came back with power. I came back with an awareness of, yeah. of, of that I can do it and that I can make it. And I went out there and I got it and I became successful, you know. And uh, so that's why. And, I, and you say give back. I want to give give it back. I want to give it to the to the to her. I want to give mm -hmm. it back to her. And I think that God has blessed me to. I, I want to give hope, and yeah. I love sharing hope. So yeah. coming to Africa gave me back a hope that had died. Echo, echo, echo city. All right. So welcome back to. Uh, another conversation there was something beautiful that our mother our auntie our sisters doing that i wish and i want everybody to know you know aside learning from each other connecting with each other at least we should have to start something start something so you are telling me about this picture that is so inspirational and I want you to tell me a little bit about it, how you got that picture framed in your house. <laughs> so can you show us, show us that picture first? <laughs> can, uh, you, can, this, can we see that picture? Let me see the picture. Oh, let me see if you can. Okay, Just so. Let me, uh, oh, this way, okay, I got it. Yeah, so. Is the picture on it? Yeah, I can see a lady, a lady smiling, an African lady smiling with a with a pan there with a is. pan of um something. Peanuts. Peanuts, peanuts. So she's selling peanuts to survive. She's a market yeah, girl. Market girl. So you got this in Ghana? What do you call them? I didn't I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we call them uh this, not, we don't have a special name for them. She's just selling. She's just selling. She's just talking. You know. Mm -hmm. So tell us, tell us a little bit about this picture and what is so inspirational with this picture. <laughs> <laughs> I I talked about my experience at, at the castle, mm -hmm. and the point of it is not knowing whether it was a man or a woman that mm -hmm. is my ancestor that left there. Mm -hmm. But I was going through, I told you that I lost my job, money, it just broke and just feeling helpless, hopeless and everything else. Yeah. But when I saw the, and I'm, I'm, if that's the correct word or not, the ladies with the selling things on their head and the children on their back, I just watched them. It was just something about them. I just watched them and watched them. And um, a friend of mine, uh, there's also a art uh, photographer. Mm -hmm. um, and this is one of his pictures okay. that I had followed um, for years. Mm -hmm. It was something in his art that always attracted me. Right. And um, like I said, I had I did have a connection of someone that I had uh, supported a family right. and I spoke about his art. And the young man said, oh, that's my friend. And I went, what? <laughs> <laughs> he said, do you want to meet him? I thought, oh, my God, yes. <laughs> and so he took me to his studio. And he was so amazed that an American person knew his work mm -hmm. and art and was that much in love with it. He said, um, told me to walk around the studio and choose anything I wanted okay. and he signed it for me um, and he he's a really uh, beautiful beautiful artist and photographer for me, to me and when I walked around and I saw this picture I stood in front of it and just burst into tears and started crying and he, he again looked at me like wow what are you seeing you know <laughs> what are you seeing and I know that God was speaking to me, my heart, my soul, my spirit, because I was connecting with this, this person, this image, strong, black, beautiful, survivalist 
woman and it remind and that's I said I don't know who you, you are but you're my ancestor you know wow. and I want to I want to do something um and that's why and, and he gave me he signed and gave me the picture mm -hmm. and, I, and that's what I mean when I say I look at it every day it reminds me of the resilience the strength and, and go back to it and it lets me know as an American female and all that I was going through, that I could make it. Yeah. That yeah. I could make it. Yeah. And and it changed my life. It, it changed the direction I was going in. I became, I came back with a new attitude. Mm -hmm. I came back with strength. I came back with power. I came back with an awareness of, yeah. of, of that I can do it and that I can make it. And I went out there and I got it and I became successful, you know? And uh, so that's why, and, I, and you say, give back. I want to give, give it back. I want to give it to the, to the, to her. I want to give mm -hmm. it back to her. And I think that God has blessed me to, I, I want to give hope and yeah. I love sharing hope. So yeah. coming to Africa gave me back a hope that had died. Hello, do you need airports pick up and drop off in Ghana? Get the best experience with AK's Possibility Concert. Thank you. And that was dying. Uh, and I want to share that hope. Yeah. That you can make it, that you can do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why. So I, that's well, what this is well. like. Inspiration. Your, your inspiration. You look at it every day and you're like, mm -hmm. if she's doing it, then you can she, do it. If she's doing it, I can do it. And, and and especially at my lowest moments, I look up and I'm going, she can do it, I can do it. And, <laughs> and not only that, when she crossed that Atlantic Ocean, she did it. You know, she survived mm -hmm. all of that. And so it goes, mm -hmm. you know, it goes all over me yeah. that uh, you can do it. You can make it. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad that you, you, you're sharing your story. And the point where you said you lost your money, you lost your house, you did time. I know you had gone through a lot. You had mm -hmm. gone through a lot. And one interesting thing is that coming to Africa gave you hope. Everything that was mm -hmm. lost. I mean, you got everything back because you connected with your ancestors sometimes people don't understand it that way that some of these uh, these things that happen are calling mm -hmm. right because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. for you to have said there were a lot of people who were taken away some couldn't stand it some died per history per what we learned those who died while they were coming they were thrown over into the sea the deep waters those who right. survived came in and that is what we are seeing right now so it is it is really hopeful when you hear such stories like i mean coming from you there are others who also share that sometimes they sit and they just have a call and that they need to, to, to be back to the yeah. motherland yes. yes and it's and it's and it's really inspiring to hear this from you yeah. and i hope and pray that the more you get connected to africa your family would also learn how how, how are they taking how did they take it how are they taking your 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 connection with Africa now? Do they did they say, hey, we thought you were not gonna do it. Now you've done it. Like, what do they say? They're like, you're gonna talk about this for so long until go do it. <laughs> but um <laughs> like oh, is that new? <laughs> okay. But uh, I know it's almost as if everyone is afraid to be the first one mm -hmm. and after when you they see you take that step then it empowers them to take it even yeah. other people even even here you know when we're talking to each other like, like i was talking to a lady that made a dress for me she's uh from ghana um mm -hmm. dodoa <laughs> mm -hmm. and um uh, and when we were talking about our plans other African-American ladies were around us and they all, some started crying. They're like, I, I've got to go and I've got to go, you know? So it inspires yeah. others that they can do it. 
Um, mm -hmm. And like I said, it, it, you don't have to move. So everyone doesn't have to take such a humongous step. But right. everyone goes on vacation. Take a right. vacation. All right. Take a vacation, visit the motherland <laughs> and learn a thing or two. And make sure that that connection is going to bring you hope. And that hope that you took from Africa is what is giving other people that opportunity or that hope to also come and visit. I really appreciate this conversation and we're going to be sharing more with people. All right.